Exacerbações são realmente um grande problema na DPOC. E o Dr. Richard Russell, do King's College de Londres, vai conversar a respeito do risco das exacerbações e da melhor terapia para os nossos pacientes. Thank you for your kindness. To what the risk of exacerbations in patients with COPD? COPD exacerbations occur in 77% of patients over a three-year period. So actually, I consider anyone who has a diagnosis of COPD to be at risk. It's going to happen and it's really important for us to optimize care to stop those events happening because they are very impactful. And what's the best moment to start the inhaled corticosteroid? You should respect the, the first exacerbation. So I think that's a really great question. I would like two things in my career. Number one, that we make the second exacerbation a never event. Yes, the first one can happen. The patient may not have even had a diagnosis of COPD. And so we must then optimize therapy. That is our duty. It is our job. Also, in doing so, I want to stop us ever having to use oral steroids again because they are bad treatments, which obviously are necessary at the moment, but the future, I hope, will be better than that. So yes, the second attack must be absolutely a never event. And don't you worry about the inhaled corticosteroids in COPD about the risk of pneumonia? No, not at all. I do have, uh, we have to have concerns about this as a signal, but interestingly, exacerbations of COPD are much more impactful, both from a mortality, a cardiovascular impact point of view, than pneumonias. And indeed, these pneumonia signals we see in our studies are not associated with hospitalization or mortality. So I think we have to bear it in mind, and if it's a problem for an individual patient, yes, we have to consider that, but actually, the benefit of the steroids outweighs the, the risk mass massively. Thank you very much, doctor, for our kindness to join uh, with Brazilian doctors in pulmonology. Obrigado, thank you very much. And vocês acompanhem conosco aqui direto da TS 2024 os destaques do Congresso da American Thoracic Society 2024. A TS 2024 é no Pneuma Imagem.